Welcome to Beyblade World by Zanki, and this retro Beyblade show starts right now. So today for our Beyblade show, um, I'm going to give a little bit of an explanation for it since it's actually a retro Beyblade show for now. Um, so during our trip in Japan, we found really cool old generation Beyblades and we figured since we have like three of them, we'll do like a three in one sort of like gig unboxing slash review. Anyways, um, I'm going to get more into it as the video goes on. So. So today for our retro Beyblade show, we're going to be doing a 3-in-1 unboxing. So, our unboxings will be um, the Beyblade Old Generation, uh, Beyblade Trigger Booster, and then after we have this uh, Super Beyblade Light Sound in Action, uh, this play right here is Dronzer V. And then after for our last one, uh, I'll show uh, more of the boxes uh, closer, but just now it's a wide shot. Um, for this one, what we have is a very awesome uh, Dragoon Storm. This is a limited gold version. Comes in this really cool, like, sort of lunchbox case. I really love it. And yeah, so it's a 3 in 1 unboxing. This one we got um, for more of the Rip Fire Bays. And I'll actually, you know what? I'll, I'll explain it. Well, let's first go one by one. All right, so here we got our first box. And that box is um, the Drager V2 Booster. And then after the owner for this uh, bay is uh, Ray. Very nice bay, looks very cool, and maybe for those who aren't into old generation or never got into it, there actually is a version of this that Burst made, sort of like a remake and a tribute to it since it was like a little anniversary for it. So this will be pretty cool, I really do want to try to battle with this, this thing will be very epic. Uh, MG system, also A75, and you can also see the spirit right there and a closer look at the blader, and yeah. And then after we got our back, our back is really all in Japanese, but I did get the list um, from Beyblade Wiki for the correct parts for it. So um, for this bay... Alrighty, so for the BC, BC is Drigger, BC is the bit chip. Um, for the WD, which is the weight disc, the weight disc is um, 10 balance. You can see him right there. Um, then after for our attack ring, uh, AR, our attack ring is uh, upper claw. Then after for our spin gear, our spin gear is Neo right. And then after for support parts, we got um, attack SP, so attack support. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that's really does it um, for the back. I'm gonna actually have a lot of fun assembling these. Before, I wasn't really a fan because it was sort of like a little model kit you had to assemble. But I am pretty excited to get into this. Now we're going to go on to the next bay. So moving on to our next box to show off is the B21 Super Beyblade Light Sound in Action. Um, Dronzer V, Dronzer Volcano. The blader for this one is Kai. You can kind of see him right there. Um, and maybe for those who can remember, it is um, a little bit reminiscent of the Electro Battlers. Pretty sure that's where they got the concept from. Also. Nostalgic, because I remember, um, you can see this little rip cord. I remember, I believe the bait was um, Lightning El Drago. It had that really cool dragon rip cord, and I just thought that was awesome. Um, this launcher, um, you might also remember this from the Electro Battler, since they use almost the exact same launcher and model for it. Yeah, this is really cool. Lights and sounds. Hopefully it works. If it doesn't work, uh, we'll just uh, replace the battery, since I think we should have the same type that this one uses. Yeah, so light sound action. There's just the back, shows off the blader, little warnings, yada, yada, yada. All right, so let's go to the last one, uh, the last box to show off, and then after we'll get started on opening them. Here we have the H88 Limited Gold Version Dragoon Storm. Very awesome, comes in this really cool lunchbox. Um, I'll actually get it off of the lunchbox so I can actually show you the box on its own. You know, so there's like these little tabs you just take off. All right, here we go. Really cool. Um, there's not really much to show. It does have a really cool, um, you know, design to it. But just to show you around. Um, nothing really much to say. I'll probably just, um, you know, open it. I'll probably also just um, keep it in the case when I'm done, just to keep it stored. 
But if you lift it up, you know, you can see all this nice stuff. Cool stickers, really cool. Ooh, like a cool little um, bay card. I remember um, when you had launcher grips, there's like a little insert and you could just have it like a put like a little bay card in there, a little insert, so that's awesome. Uh, launcher, other parts in here. The old generation Beyblades were like model kits to assemble. Later on, they made it a little bit easier to where you didn't have to like assemble these model kits. I think model kits are fun. Just depending on how big the project is, it might get a little bit tedious. But, you know, this one's really cool. This, we'll probably get to this last because I really want to try to take the time to enjoy this. Um, so, yeah. So, here we have our first bay fully assembled. The almighty, the magnificent Dragoon Ash, Dragoon Storm. I gotta say, looks so cool. I, I love old generation Beyblades, and the thing is, ever since I assembled, what was it? It was uh, Tripeo? Oh, I, I really gotten used to assembling these bays, like now I can just do it like, like that. Uh, bay looks very nice, really love the gold on it, you can just see the green eyes and everything. The gold shine is so cool, you can see the text actually, it's a little bit hard to see, but the text basically just says Dragoon there, rubber tip. Very cool, very, very small and thin. And yeah, that's kind of it for this. I love it, you know, it's gold, white, green, everything you gotta love about Beyblade. Uh, we'll move on to our next one. I do have it right next to me, because this one can't really stand, so you know, we'll just transition to that one. This one is the Drigger V2. And this is just like a monster. Just look at it, like two blades, metal tip. Very cool. I love it. I, you know, and I honestly, my thoughts on old generation, even though they might be, um, you know, uh, you, uh, you have to assemble and it takes a little bit to assemble, even if you know what you're doing. I gotta say, these bays just look so cool. Honestly, um, design wise, I would say they're on, I'd, I'd put it a little bit higher than Metal Fight, not completely, but I would put a little bit higher because I do love these designs. Um, We'll probably try this out in battles in the future. Or I'll probably um, get the burst bays and just do battles with them. Um, so what we'll do is um, I'll get those two burst bays, um, the Dragoon and um, the Drigger one. Do a small little comparison and then after I'll move on to the Electro one and then the test launch. You just cut those out there, okay? So here we have our old gen uh, bays right here, and then after I actually got the burst bays, so we got one that's just um, for Dragoon, and then after I do got the gold version, it is missing two of the green ones, it fell off during battles, but honestly, like, they obviously they didn't make it smaller because um, the old gen ones were a little bit big, but uh, it just looks so cool, and it is really cool how burst adapted the parts just to match it, <coughs> excuse me. I'm just coughing at the awesomeness of these bays. Very cool. And then after just comparing it to the regular white one. Yeah, really nice. Uh, then after we got Drigger. A Drigger it's pretty much the same almost. Missing those two blades, but you know, just because it's uh, the V2 version. Um, but yeah, again, awesome. They really did it. Yeah, you wanna know what? The more you get to know the old generation, the more you can really appreciate the burst adaption of it because they really took the time and effort to find the right parts just to adapt it to the base. Um, anyways, we're gonna move on to our last uh, bay then after our test launch. So here we have our old generation um, sort of electro bay. I can't really tell if it's on. I kept on flipping the switch. Um, it does make lights and sound, but uh, sounds are weird. The lights it does make. Um, this look very nice though. I do like the metallic stickers on it. Looks pretty cool. There's nothing really too much to say about this bay. I think it's a little bit smaller than those Electro Bays Hasbro made. Uh, the one that Hasbro made. It was much more bigger in it. Bigger than it. But yeah, we're gonna get to the test launch. So, yeah. so we are now ready to do our test launches. So we do have our stadium right here. Let's center it a little bit more. Um, we got our old generation bay. Uh, let me see, because I'll try to flip the switch and I'll see which one does lights. If not, you know, that's fine. We did try to replace it, but I think this is just... 
Oh, they can't really handle too much of it. Well, regardless, we'll just launch this bay. Three, two, one, let it rip. Or should uh, say go shoot. That's proper term. No, but yeah, you know, it's cool. I like it. I don't think we'll probably ever use this for battles unless we make it a fight, maybe an old electro top that I have. But yeah, let's move on to our next bay. We'll go with um, Dragoon uh, Storm. That's uh, the gold version. A few stickers are missing, but that's just because when I launch it, it's flying out. I'll look for the stickers um, after the test launch. But yeah, I do like this launcher too. Looks really cool just having the blader there. I do wish maybe other launchers had. I wish first launchers had that. You know how cool it'd be if you just had like Volt on like a custom Valkyrie launcher? That'd be awesome. Anyways, test the launch. Three, two, one, go shoot. Yeah, it's a little bit wild. We are now going to stop the bay. I love this bay. This actually has to be one of my favorite old generation bays that I have in my collection so far. Oh, we're using uh, this launcher also, by the way, because um, I do not have the right launcher for this one. This is like the only one. Well, actually, let me just make sure. I do think that's the only launcher I do have for it. Yeah, I'll probably um, see where I can actually just find or buy some old generation launchers. Because these things are like really hard to find. Anyways, so let's do the test launch for the Drigger V the, for the Drigger V2. Three, two, one, let it rip. There we go. Yeah. Now these bays are really awesome. Old generation is honestly the best. Well, the best cool designs for base. We are now going to stop this bay. Uh, really awesome, really cool. Um, anyways, look at all these bays just here, and we're just gonna wrap up the video now. Uh, I'm in love with the old generation Beyblades. Really gotta say, their bays are just so awesome. Uh, I would say if you have maybe any background information that you'd like to tell me, feel free to tell me. If maybe I didn't do any, maybe, uh, let's say I didn't do something correctly. Feel free to comment saying, oh Zinky, um, next time uh, for the Drigger or for the Dragoon, you forgot to put this or you didn't use this, etc. You know, like recommendations, because I like the old generation. Obviously don't be like um, disrespectful saying, you suck, why are you doing this, that, or this, you know. Like, just like, you know, positive feedback. And because I'm interested in the old generation, because I, I do read the comments, by the way. I'm very interested. I'm trying to get the background of these bays and maybe like tips for them. Anyways, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and show your support. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you already are subscribed, make sure you click that bell so you don't have for uploads. Anyways, thanks for watching and have an awesome Beyblade. No, I was going to say Beyblade Burst. Have an awesome retro Beyblade and day.